So with React, we can output inline dynamic content. I know that it's, uh, this uh, kind of sounds a little bit confusing, but let me show you with some code. It's real simple. Let's say that instead of returning this is my new header, I want to show the date. So I'm going to say the date is, and now right here, I need to pass some dynamic content. I'm going to get the date in milliseconds from JavaScript. So I'm going to use curly braces. And inside the curly braces, we can put some logic right here. So I'm going to use vanilla uh, ES5, ES6, ES5, sorry, my little JavaScript. And I'm going to say date now. This is going to return the date in milliseconds. So if I reload it and check it, the date is in milliseconds. So inside curly braces, we can do pretty much whatever we want as long as we return a single statement, a single expression. So let's say uh, I want to print the ear. So I'm going to just save this. I'm going to make it just like this so it's a little bit more uh, readable but it's the, uh, the same idea. So to return the uh, date, for example, the year, first I need to create a variable that is gonna be called new date. And this one is gonna create an instance of date, just like this, date. And then if, if you wanted to get the year from, from there, we need to return the new date, just like this, and dot and get full year. So this is, again, it's vanilla JavaScript. So this is one is not going to work. It's going to give us an error message because we are using uh, two different expressions. First, we have the variable, and then we are doing the, the return. So this one is not going to work. But what we could do to solve this, we can create a function that returns that data. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to say const get ear, something like that. And then it's going to be just a fat arrow function and this fat arrow function is going to do this logic. Let me cut it. I'm going to paste it. And we get the ear. And this function only returns the ear. So now, if I say get ear, just like this, and I call to this function, it's going to give us back the ear. So it's going to work. So you know, this is good. And you can do uh, right here pretty much whatever you want, as long as you've returned a single expression. So we can do operations, kind of a 5 plus 5, that's going to work. We get the date is 10, you know, it's good. Right here, the get ear is assigned but never used. So I'm going to delete it just for now. So why is this important? Let's pretend that instead of a header, we have kind of a, a user profile. So we need to, we have an object of a user with all the data inside. And what we want to do, we want to render the user data. So I'm going to say const, then user is going to be equal to an object. And it's going to have a name. And the name is going to be Francis, of course. If you, if you're, it's, it's the, the first time for you in one of my courses, this is my main default user or name. It's Francis. And the last name, you guessed it, Jones and let's say an age of 16. So this is really important. We just have an object. So now if we want to output a card, the card of a user, I'm going to just put it just like this and enclose everything, remember, everything in parentheses, just like that. And now this one, this div, is going to be the main container. We need to, we can only output some JSX inside a container. And right here, I can just put div and make a reference to that object. It's going to be user.name. And if I wanted to get the uh, last name, same thing, user.lastname. So this is going to be the way how, how can we, uh, the way we output, output dynamic uh, data inside React and H. And if we go right here, we get Francis Jones and 16. So, you know, this is really, really simple, but we're going to be using, the, using this the whole, the whole time. So let, let's pretend, let's just pretend that this user is going to be validating if the user is able to access right here. So again, we can just uh, run a function, check if the user is uh, authorized to enter our, our page, our web page, our application. And right here, we're going to just pass true or false. And this one is going to let the content, uh, let the, the page load or not. We're going to do that later, of course. So, okay, let's keep moving forward. We're going to be talking about types of components and it's going to be uh, really interesting. So let's go to the next one.